Friday, June 5. Uh, I've been missing in action for a couple of weeks thanks to very strong local market and I had to pay attention to my day job. Um, and in those weeks, the world has changed on us. Uh, rates are up. Uh, they're up a lot. Uh, in the space of six weeks, the 10-year U.S. Treasury note has gone from 190 to 240. That's a half a percent. And mortgage rates are up uh, not quite as much, which is in their nature. We're up between a quarter and three-eighths of a percent in that span. And my hunch is, as in the copy nearby, that uh, what we're doing is retracing a portion of a 16-month straight-line decline that we enjoyed all the way through 2014 and that didn't bottom until February, really March uh, of this year. Now it has. Uh, what happens next, uh, it's in the copy nearby. The, uh, the important thing uh, are the global economies. The new web-based news media are so totally focused on the immediate short term that nothing makes any sense, especially in markets. The big deal going on, is, as it is all the time, is what's the slope of economic growth? Is the United States really in a recovery that justifies the Fed lifting off from zero? The answer is probably, maybe. Uh, the, uh, has Europe really turned a corner? No. Uh, nothing has really happened. The weakness in the euro versus dollar strength has helped the European economies a lot. But it's, it's a zero-sum game, and, and it's a sugar high. It's not real. Uh, China is still struggling. The emerging nations are struggling more, so really nothing there has changed. All in the copy nearby. What's not in the copy nearby is this thought. In addition to paying attention to the economies, we've been in a slow growth, uh, no inflation, uh, low income trench for seven going on eight years now. And at some point we may come out of that. And if we come out of it, the Fed's going to come out of it. But I, I don't think that's in the cards. I, I wouldn't overrate the increase in mortgage rates and long-term rates in these last couple of months. They, uh, we've lost chances to refinance now for a while, but the, the whole deal going forward is what's the slope of growth going forward? And it's still thin. I wish I had a better report on that score. On the good news side, I get signs not just in crazy markets like ours, but there are more and more signs that the housing market is gradually recovering across the United States. It's at a geologic pace. It's not at a normal economic cyclical pace, but we're gradually doing better, if only because we're, shoot, we're eight years into it. I promise to be back next week. Thank you. Have a good weekend.